You guys have asked about it. The 7810 is out now for all platforms. New and updated mods have been released on the Endgame Mod Hub today, and we got 36 in total. For all platforms, we have 20 new and 7 updates, and for PC and Mac, we have 2 new and 7 updates as well. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the Endgame Mod Hub, so get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss them. First up today, new mods for all platforms, we have the map Osada. This map is inspired by the eastern part of Europe with small and medium-sized fields. There are no medium sized fields on this map this is all itty bitty tiny fields for the most part maybe these up here but that would be just about it you've got two farms a smaller with cows and a larger one with pigs place to build your own farm one village with a small farm three grain markets including one of your own for the train you got 50 things to collect around the map new textures for grass trees bushes and terrain painting, swamp forest, 100 farmlands uh, 90 or 79 fields including meadows bakery and you can see ran into the side of the the map here because they've done a really good job of blending the outside of the map into the inside of the map this is the pda which you'd look at and say oh wow you know that's pretty cool well the darker parts are the only pieces that you can actually buy otherwise you're just running into the side like i am now interestingly enough i can buy this little plot right here but once we get about to the edge of it, well, that is it. So just a heads up, you've got areas around the map you can't mess with. What do we get new farmer? We'll take a look at that real quick. You've got your main farm right there with your cattle, and then you've got one field. So if it got anything in it, looks like barley, and it looks like it is ready to be harvested, so that's nice. As far as equipment that we get, well, we've got a couple Zader tractors. That's nice. If you do not have the Z25K unlocked, you may get it. You may not. You should be able to get it, though. Shouldn't be a problem. Also, harvesters, you get the small harvester, you got a car, trailer, header, plow, cultivator, cedar, baler, all the goodies. You got everything that you need to at least get started with everything. Uh, also, I don't actually know how many slots are used up with this because, unfortunately, my Xbox Series X would not load the map. We got to 24% and just quit trying. That is with, uh, with mods, without mods, anything. I just couldn't get it to load so heads up there next up however is a mod that you can get and load up in farming simulator 22 on consoles the john deere 7810 road crop from jhhg modding my man yeah so this bad boy right here is available with about a bajillion customization options and i'm gonna do my best so it has 175 horsepower a manual plus power shift transmission 344 liters of fuel at 23 miles per hour weighs 7.6 tons and it is 23 slots sorry 25 slots on consoles i misread that wheel brands we have continental michelin back and forth between those and with those you get some row crops some weight some bigger row crops a bunch of weight and you've got four wheel drive versions of it as well as far as mirrors go we've got a standard mirror new style or none if you just want to get rid of them completely it looks a little funny without them so we'll put some on there extremity lights we have no and yes so these are going to be for running like big row crop duels things like that toolbox no or yes front fenders standard um well i think we need four wheel <laughs> four wheels on there don't we front fenders yeah or no yeah those are good ladder extension yes and we've got that if you need to need a little extra step at the bottom back hydraulic tank we'll pop our head around and there it is right there you can add that if you want to exhaust cover well you can add these if you want to i know these are popular so if you like it well you've got it you also have a starfire gps for 3000 you got the holders inside and you can put it on top as well as far as attachers go we have a standard attacher or you can go back and forth between that on the back weights include a rock box on the front a front weight and then we've got 300 500 800 1300 400 600 1000 or nothing so you got a lot of different options through there front ladder or loader attacher we have the quickie we have Hauer or nothing and then you have your license plates next is a really cool mod and i love the idea there was a mod like this in, in 19 and it was extremely popular the Agco Ideal Harvester. Now, this is modified very, very significantly from what you are used to seeing. So we start off with 451 horsepower. We have a variable transmission, 1,000 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour, 12,500 liter capacity for the tank, and it weighs 20.4 tons. It is 24 slots just for the combine. Heads up there. Now, engine, we have the Ideal 7, we have the 8, the 9, and the Ideal 10. 
Cool, 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 cool. That is all good. Will Brands include Trailborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Friedstein, and back in. And we can do different options, including tracks. So wheels or tracks, good to go there. Now we go Finn. Massey Ferguson. Okay, everything looking good so far. Steering wheel, we've got the ideal drive, which looks awesome. Design, we have without a tablet or with a tablet inside. Design, we have no warnings. Uh, front warning signs, rear warning signs, all of them or nada. And this is where it gets fun because you've got Fint Blue on here. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, you've got all kinds of colors. So we have Fint Black, Fint Green, Old, Fint Green, New. Fint Blue, the petrol blue. We have the Fint White. Ooh, looks so good. Fint Yellow. That's... Does Fint have yellow? I don't know. Massey Ferguson Green. That's not right. Uh, Massey Ferguson Orange. <laughs> Massey Gray, uh, and then finally just Massey Ferguson. So you could go through and you could change those up however you like. We've even got uh, different colors for your seats inside. You can make those blue as well. How cool is that? Plus, we've got rim colors, including chrome. What up? What up? But that is not all. We also have the header as well, and you can make the header match it. So if you go with the Massey Ferguson, uh, you could go with the canola um, bits on there, or the straw divider, and the way you want to go there. And then you can go a red header on there if you want, or petrol blue, all good. This is a 12 meter header. So just a heads up there, it's nothing too massive, just the 12 meters. And that's the only one it comes with. But you know what? Whatever. That's so cool. Here's another John Deere for you guys. This is the John Deere 1075 hay wagon. That is right. We have a John Deere branded bell trailer and it has auto load. Now this is for baby bells only and I'll hold 153 of them. You can hitch these together. It doesn't look like there's a hitch, but there's a little slot right there in the back and that's what it goes into. Uh, you have auto loading without straps or you have with straps with no auto loading. You will need to choose which one of those you want. As far as things go, we've got the old logo and the new logo, basically the black and yellow or the yellow and black. A headache rack, you can go none or yes on the back of that. Warning equipment on the top of that, and you've got your uh, triangle, tractor triangle, or nada. Now, the tractor triangle will not show up if you don't have that rack. And then design color, these are going to be your slats on here. So you could choose what color wood you want, or maybe you want it to be painted, something like that. Uh, it is a very, very, very good looking trailer. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's seven slots. Forgot to say that. And next up, we have the Crampy Big Body 750. Not to be confused with the Crampy Big Body 750S, which doesn't say S uh, anywhere on the mod. This is just the regular one, 20,000 liter capacity, and it only has one page worth of modifications. The other one has two pages worth of modifications. 20,000 liter capacity, seven and a half tons, weighs Sarah, six slots on consoles. You have Trelleborg, BKT, Michelin, and Vrasten tires. You can change those up however you like. Window, we got Nada or you yeah in the front, so you can do metal plate, plastic, or nothing. Capacities, we have standard. The extension brings it from 20 up to 37.5. That's nice to have. As far as your main color, red, green, black, and you've got your uh, white on there as well. That will change up the um, hub in the middle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then as far as those wheels, you've got base game gray, or you got a nice little white as well. It's a nice trailer. You guys know me. I love the crampy trailers. I've loved them since I started playing Farming Simulator. And this is just another version of the 750 that you can do however you like. Next, Schultz Modding's Seed Runner is here. Now, I have already made a video on this and it was like a month ago, maybe two months ago, something like that. This is super cool because basically you put this on the back of any trailer with straps, you strap it down, and then that trailer becomes a seed runner. It's super cool to basically remove the bottom and then boop, 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 there you go. We also have uh, 82 Studios, so this is what it looks like normally. But what Schultz has done is actually taken the model and removed the, the bottom. So you can put this on any trailer. Super cool. 8,000 liter capacity. You got 4,000 liters in the front and 4,000 liters in the back. Um, colors. We got 82 Studios colors on here as well. So if you needed that, you are good to go. And then you've got your design color as well, which are a few bits on the bottom. This is cool. Like I said, uh, I will do my best to link that video down in the description. If I didn't do it, call me out. Let me know and I'll put it there. But... You definitely want this, trust me. We've also got his liquid transport and sprayer pack. Now, this is an interesting bit because 
This was not in the pack that I reviewed. This was the only piece that was in that pack. Works exactly the same way as the Seed Runner. So what you do is you take this tank right here and you can put it on any trailer and automatically that trailer becomes a nurse trailer. How cool is that? So this holds 13,250 liters of every liquid you can even imagine. We got a smaller one as well, a little bitty baby one, 2.1 thousand liters. Uh, you can also increase that up to 10. So just a heads up, um, you've got the Unreal 10, Slurry Sprayer 10, Liquid Fertilizer Sprayer 21, Slurry Sprayer 10,000. So you, 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 can change, you, you can change it up. You can also make it chrome. Don't tell anybody. Uh, we've also got trailer versions of these as well. So you could do like a 10,000 liter small AB tanker. Uh, we could do a 10,000 liter Unreal tanker for the larger version as well. And even on here, we have an Unreal capacity. But this one, oh no, it's not 10. It's 40. These are definitely, definitely some liquid tankers and trailers that you want to have. And especially if you're using like a uh, T-Lex 2020 or something like that, you can pull these along with those as well. It's gonna look great. You guys are gonna love this mod. DJ, more John Deere. More John Deere, you say? All right, well, we got the John Deere 71 Flex Planter. Hey, this is for Blue Slush as modding. It's gonna be five slots if you're on console. Holds 1,200 liters. That's seed only, so heads up there. 2.3 ton weight, 100 horsepower, six, or six meters. It is a direct drill as well, so that is cool. If that's something you're looking for, a smaller direct drill planter from John Deere, Hey, it doesn't get much better than this. You got a triangle that you can throw on there as well. Main color, you can change that up to kind of like a darker green if you're looking for that. And then you can also change up the wheels in the back too. But we all know John Deere wheels, they gotta be yellow. More John Deere, more John Deere. All right, well, more you say, we'll go keep going. John Deere 1590 no-till drill from Casarius Modding, another direct drill planter no cedar oh this one's a cedar uh 2026 liter capacity split between seed and fertilizer weighs six tons so it is pretty heavy it's 85 horsepower so not that bad 4.5 meter working with and nine miles per hour ridge markers yo yup they look great on here by the way oh look at oh i can't zoom in enough i want to see those look good. We also have the uh, solid fertilizer uh, tank that can be added. So actually that's 2,026 liters of seed only. And then we can add an extra, what looks to be about 500-ish liters of solid fertilizer. Got half of those words wrong, but you know what? We're going to move on. Here's the name of a mod that sounds dirty, but at the end of the day, it's just a plow. That's it. It's the Uniator 4. Uh, this bad boy right here is actually two. I gotcha. It is a plow pack. The first one is 1.6 meter. The other one is a two meter. Small plows. Um, really not a whole lot to them, but we do have quite a bit of customization on here. So if you're looking for a smaller plow with a bunch of customization that has three different shades of red and green to choose from, well, you found them. Here's a very neat cultivator. Now this is a three and a half meter cultivator, but hear me out. 100 horsepower, hear me out, 600 kilograms, I'm not done, nine miles per hour, and it is one slot. This is like a cultivator that kind of like drags along the ground. Um, it's called the Stone Hog. You've got every color under the rainbow, the, the metal bits on the bottom, they stay black. This is neat. This is kind of cool, actually. It's so different from everything else that we've got in the three meter cultivator realm that it just might be the one to go with. Unless a small plow is what you're wanting to go with, in which case, I mean, we have one. The Pottinger Servo 2 weighs about 800 kilograms, 50 horsepower required, 1.2 meter working with at seven miles an hour. And uh, how many slots? Three. Here's a mod that I kind of vaguely remember talking about in Farm Some News, I think. Or maybe we've gotten something like this previously. This is the Hilaris Jumbo. It's a silage distributor. What you do is you take this and put it on the front, maybe the back of your tractor, and go through your silage pin, and it will kind of move everything around for you and get everything nice and flat. It weighs 1.4 tons and requires 70 horsepower. It's really not a whole lot to it, but it's done very well. And while you're in your silage pit, you may want to use this as well, the Magsy Push-Off Fork. So this is the pushing fork. Now we've got the push-off fork, and we have another push off <laughs> uh, they're both just I don't know, I don't know, 3,000 liters for one 2,400 liters for the other um, they say that they're part of levelers but it looks like we're able to use these with a couple different things um, three point hitch for sure on that version three point hitch on this one as well uh, and it looks like also once you're done you can kind of push forward a little bit with it 
This is extremely neat. It's very different from anything else that we've seen before. So if you're doing some silage work, I think you really, really need to download this and give it a try. They're not bad on slots either, four slots each. Your last tool mod today is gonna to be the Case H Slice Weight. This weighs 610 kilograms. You can also increase that to 730. And back and forth between the two, it's gonna be two slots. Now we do have a couple placeable models for all platforms. First one's gonna be the Small Silo Pack. Now, this one is super weird. Uh, it is added three of each, but as you can see, it doesn't snap together here. I'm trying to figure out what the difference is, but the price is exactly the same for each one. It's not snapping like these normally would. And the same thing for the larger one as well. It's like there's three of everything, but unfortunately, uh, I'm not seeing any differences. So if you see it, it may be a little weird. Um, just be aware there may be some issues somewhere down the line. Either it's on my end only uh, or it's all over the place. Either way, I'm sure it'll be fixed soon. We got another one for you. This is the Square Slurry Storage. This is from user 555. Uh, it is practical, good design, saves a lot of space. And unfortunately, however, the liquid manure storage has a lower fill volume compared to a round one. Uh, it's game, doesn't really matter, but you know what? It is what it is. It holds 150,000 liters. Uh, there are a bunch of slurry things out there that hold like 10 million, and they're for all platforms. So uh, choose this one if you like the design. Maybe not for the capacity so much. Uh, it's gonna cost 32 grand, so it is a little bit lower on price. That is nice. And I'm literally in the same camera position for the next mod. Uh, this one is kind of what I was talking about. Uh, this is gonna cost you 160 grand, which is nice. Um, and it has a capacity of 5,687,000 liters. Cost you 50 bucks per day. And there is a, an extension as well to bring it up another 5 million. 687. I don't know what that is, but it's definitely more than 11 million. I could do that kind of math in my head. Uh, so this is 11 million liters of silage for $310,000. Oh, so I say silage slurry. Crap, I've been saying silage this whole time. Oh no. Your next to last new one for all platforms today will be the old plaster barn. Music, bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Yep, that's three of fives. Uh, I don't know. An old plaster barn looks very good. Wood looks great. Uh, it's definitely uh, farming simulatory. It is not uh, mega mega realistic, but it does look pretty darn good. You get just backed up a little bit away from, it, and it doesn't look bad. You got five big bay doors on the front, nothing around the back. But again, that beautiful design and simplicity goes all the way around it. So if that's what you're looking for. Well, it's here. And lastly, we got a water hose. This is a simple water connection for cleaning your devices and filling water barrels. You heard that right. It's a water hose that is also a water hose. So you can fill water from meow, or you can spray things like meow. <laughs> oh, egg on your face. That's what I was saying earlier in the video. Was that a news video? This will wash the egg off your face. All right, enough of me being an idiot. Let's move into updates for all platforms. We've actually had another one added since I did the original video at the beginning. So uh, we'll just go over real quick all these. The Case IH Optum got an update today, version 1.1. They fixed the color choice. They added an engine variant for the 250 CVX. The reversing lights have been fixed and the uh, Isobus connection installed at the front and the rear. Next up, a mod that just releases the Lizard S Series 25D version 1001 they fixed the indoor camera this is the mod i was talking about that was released for pc only but evidently it was just a mistake it is now on consoles as well if you guys are watching this the dirty nader from yos what up dude this is gonna be version 101 changed the price from 4500 to 500 dollars. they updated the tool name and description changed the color of the model to brown and changed the mod and store icon so Whenever you see it, now at the top right-hand corner, it is going to be Dirtinator Brown. Uh, Lizard SR Series also has an update. This is going to be version 101. They fixed the discs that were not spinning. Uh -oh. Multi-purchase palettes got an update. This is a really cool mod. This is going to be change log 1-1. They've added the Lizard IBC for liquid fertilizer, herbicide, diesel, water, milk, and digestate to the mod. Oh, that's awesome. How's about an update to the offset mass holder? This is nice when you want to use less weight, but just kind of push it out. It just pushes the weight out a little bit. It's kind of neat. Uh, this is version 101. They improved the text.
textures. Next to last update for all platforms gonna be the Barn with Garage. This is gonna be Changelog 1-1 from Matty J Mods. He makes great stuff, by the way. Uh, it's improved textures, minor fixes, and a new barn's been added as well. And your last mod update for all platforms is the Wind Turbine Package version 1-2. English and French description has been fixed, and the wind turbines are now turning in the right direction, and the speed has been adjusted. Making our way into new ones for PC and Mac players. We only got two of them. The first one's the Eberhardt GS45300 Roller. This is from Jonas. Uh, this is 1.6 tons, 10 horsepower required. That ain't bad. Three meters at eight miles per hour. You got a three point. You also got a toolbar on here as well. Man, I tell you what, it really doesn't get much easier than this. Rolling, super simple, low horsepower rating, just does its job and moves on. Nice. And your last new one for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Vehicle Speed Sync. The Farming Innovations Speed Sync module allows the vehicle operator to synchronize their speed with the closest moving vehicle within a 25 meter or 82 foot radius. While the vehicle speed is synchronized, tasks such as unloading a harvester while in motion are simplified by adjusting the speed is required even on large hills or when connected to the performance reduced equipment. How cool is that? The options also copy the speed of the closest vehicle in range directly to your cruise control that is also available. They do say note, it is possible to connect to a vehicle before it starts moving. However, the connection will be lost once the synced vehicle stops for the user's safety. All right, let's make our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players. This is gonna be one less than it was in the intro video. As I said, that one mod got released on all platforms, which is great. The first update will be the Cultimer L300 with the d -Limb. This is gonna be version 101, improve the textures. We also have an update to the Work Speed Limit Override version 1002. They fixed an error when the game was started with the Lua errors while throwing in some circumstances. Syrid Pushing Fork, we've got improved textures. The BRC Shovel's got an update as well. Guess what? Improved textures. The Flegal Timber Runner Auto Load Woods got an update, but it is not improved textures. They fixed an issue when the implement icon not turning blue when auto load is active since game patch 1.3.1. That was two patches ago. And your last mod and last mod update today. Trucks and Trailer with the Pallet Auto Load version 1001 fixed the missing implements. If you remember before, there was supposed to be, I think, uh, what, one or two trucks, and, or at least one truck and a trailer, but I think it was just the truck and that was it. Well, all that stuff is now there. Well, guys, that is it for today's mod video. What a good mod video. We got a little something for everybody. We got maps, we got tractor, we got equipment, we got buildings and great updates. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoAm fam. Make sure notification bells are on as well. Why? Well, you never want to miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. That's why. Hope you guys have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you later. Peace.